I'm Deb from the Toy Box Suburban Farm. The farm is doing pretty good. The fava beans are coming ripe. They're on their third wave. Tomatoes are coloring out. Um, I'm looking around to see the uh, green beans are the main season green beans are just within days of needing to be picked and processed. But what I'm going to show you today on this first really warm day in, in uh, western Washington is what needs to be done with um, strawberries. This is the majority of my strawberry bed looking lush and beautiful. A little bit of chamomile over in the corner. It is a pity to cut these off. But just today I watched a, a video from Seattle Sprout, who's a master gardener, who was demonstrating how to take care of strawberries this time of year. It's awful early. I like to wait till all the leaves start turning red, and a few of them have. Um, but I'm going to trust that what, what Seattle Sprout showed me to do is going to be best for the strawberries. Master Gardener, Seattle Sprout. Oh look, there's a little berry right there. We can use it for spa water. Takes her tomatoes, looked pretty much by the plant, and clipped them. Gave them a haircut. That'll go in the compost. Um, just reach down from each crown, and you'll see that in her video. She explains that really well. The crown, let me make sure I've got the crown, is this thick part down here that um, everything grows out of. She leaves the new, she was leaving the new growth, just lifting it up. There's a, uh, a runner. I'm going to clip most of those off too, and just clip, gave them a haircut. I'll do that with the rest of them and I'll get back to you. Okay, not too much later, you can see um, the majority of the bed has been cleaned up and ready for the next step, which is taking a look and seeing where I need to fill in some spaces. Um, Oh, it's hard for me to see in the sun, but through the viewfinder it's hard for me to see in the sun. But there's a big empty space there. I originally planted my strawberries one per square foot, and it just totally filled in this bed. But um, I'm, I'm thinking I see a couple little places where I could add some more. Like, I could add one right here and not run into trouble at all. So what I'll do is I'll take one of my... Um, Oh, that's pretty well matted over. I'll take one of my plantlets that came off of this strawberry bed. I'll put it in there, and when I'm done, I'll water it with a mixture of water from my husband's aquaponic tank and um, a, a, a concentrate of kelp meal and um, oh, fish emulsion. That's what it is. The and uh, then I'll take and I'll pull this wire down so. The dogs like to use this as a platform to look down into the valley below. Uh, so to keep the dogs out, I'm just we're just pull this down and we'll be done with this for now. Just in case you've ever wondered, how do you oops, had to get my glove off? How do you harvest chamomile? You just reach in, turn your fingers into a rake, and lift, and then you go and dry it. Mm, smells so good. This is a mixture of um, compost of Mel's mix from the Square Foot Gardening Book and some granulated um, organic fertilizer. I'm not going to use much because it's still, I don't want to get too much growth, but I'm going to just freshen up this little section of soil with this. And then this was one of this was one of the runners that I uh, cut off from the strawberries, and you can see it's got some roots. Most of them just have little nubs coming down rather than actual roots. So I'm going to plant this in that area, 
and I hope I can do it with the camera going without just getting in your way. I'm gonna, I like to make a little cone to, oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump you, to spread the roots out on and then cover it. You don't want this crown, you want to be very careful not to cover up the crown or the area where the roots, the plant is growing from. And I left a lot of the runner on there. I'm just going to use these tags to hold it down to encourage it to stay right here and live. And then that'll be the first, when I start watering, that'll be the first one to get a little bit of water. I'm probably going to cut this off because it's going to take away from, see how droopy that is? It's going to take away from the rooting this time of year. Um, but I might give it 24 hours before I decide for sure. So now that area is filled in. And here is some of that fishy kelpy water. And I'm going to water the rest of the strawberries to make sure they all get... Um, oh, Ray's made this pretty easy for me. The, the chick wire is woven in the picket fence and then I just have screws that stick out. Tuck them in there. That way I can access the garden if I need to. There's another panel that'll cover the other side. Um, I should probably take care of all these chamomile before I tuck the other side. Now that I'm done cleaning up my strawberry bed, I might want to prepare some strawberries for next year. Um, I'm just doing it the way I saw my grandma, my nana, do it when I was a little girl. Extra strawberry plants have been clipped off of the, the main strawberry runner. The runners, they look like this. And uh, any leaves that seem too droopy are clipped off so that they don't take away from root development. There's still one little one little uh, thing on there and down here is where the roots are. And then I just set them in the water like that. If I had some sand or if I had some vermiculite, I would go ahead and uh, fill that jar up with the sand or the vermiculite to give the roots something to hang on to. You don't, the runners get quite long and you don't want to use the whole runner. Anything extra is going to suck uh, strawberry juice, I don't know what you call it, um, out of the strawberry. So I'm going to clip that off, clip that off and this leaf is a little sad looking. That one's broken but there's still this and the rootlets down here. And I'm going to set them in the, the water. Some of them come with lots of little rootlets that you can uh, get started with. Some of them are a little iffy. Can you see? There's just little nubs down there. So that's how I'm going to prepare my strawberries for next year or to give away as gifts. Now, this. Oh, this is strawberry spa water. I take a half gallon mason jar. I think Jamie Oliver came up with this idea and it's been around the um, it's been around Facebook a lot different types but this one happens to be um, some muddled strawberries, a branch of tarragon and a little tiny bit of lemon and I just uh, set it all in the jar, uh, fill the jar up with ice and then I cover fill up the space with water with uh, purified water if I've got it. It is so pretty when it's when you first put it in and I tend to put in too much herbs and the herbs overwhelm the flavor but I think I could have gone with a little bit more tarragon. Can you see it down in there? I could have gone with more tarragon because it it's hardly noticeable. There's a very slight lime aftertaste or lemon aftertaste from the lemon that's in it and then it's full of strawberries and it comes out, I run it through a tea strainer into the glass, it comes out a really a nice pink lemonade color, but really all it is is strawberry water. You can add sugar or sugar syrup if you want to, but do try it before adding sugar. It is so good this way. Okay, 
it's August. You probably don't have to get too dirty, but get out there and get dirty. Thanks for watching. Sit. Oh, good boys. Sit pretty. Good boys. Bang. Ah, uh, good boys. Oh, it's right here, Rue. You missed it. Good boys.